Welcome to another episode of Wham Glam. I got to do that over again. Here Why we go. Ready? Welcome to another episode of Glam Bam. Thank you, ma'am. I'm so lucky today because I have a very creative genius on my hands. I have a makeup artist. I have Katie Jane Q with me today. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna do eyeliner. I'm gonna hold a mirror close up to my eye, or my face, and I'm just gonna take a cold pencil. I love a cold pencil because you can just really etch with them. And I'm just gonna sketch on my wing from my bottom part of my eyelid, following sort of almost the direction it would take if it carried on going toward the tail of my brow. Then I shoot right across to meet that area where my eyelid rounds out. And I start making these very sort of, for lack of a better term, effed up wiggles just don't really look like anything at this point in time. It's the Artist Color Pencil from Makeup Forever. They are just smudgy and blendable and gorgeous and perfect. I also have two things on the side. I've got a little cleanup brush, which I use to get rid of any bits I don't want. This is the 24 by Dior, and then a Cosette brush called the D200. What I do is if I ever get any bits that I just don't like, I take this brush either whilst I'm working or at the end, and I just clean them off either just using the oils in my own skin. And obviously if that doesn't work, you take micellar water or a little bit of cleansing something or even face cream. Just go on sort of naked with the brush first because sometimes you don't need the product to remove anything. So I kind of just like, you know, we'll clean up a little bit as I go. And then I keep working. It's malleable, and soft bit, delicate and are like moving easier. And basically you'll start to see the shape kind of develop now. If I was to have done this eyeliner with my eye completely open, my wing would not be straight across when I look at that's pretty mind blowing. I'm trying to create a straight line from my pupil to the end of my wing. And it might look a bit like this with my eyes down. And if it does, that's fine. I can basically just fill it in a little bit, but I'm not going to connect it completely. I mean, I can connect it like a little bit, but if I try and then take this line all the way here, then my liner is going to go up in the middle. And I don't want it to do that. And this is the way that now I do every single person. If they want liner, I just say, okay, look at the bridge of my glasses or the bridge of my nose or wherever. And I just sort of get them to look like what I'm doing right now is looking straight at my eyes in the mirror in front of my face. Do you I, see it? Yes. And then it gives you this funky little shape, which you see when you blink and it's kind of funky. But when you're talking to somebody, you just have this like, especially if I'm looking at my eye line. Now I'm looking here and it looks funky. If I was too concerned about how this shape looks right now, I'd, I'd wreck it. I don't want to wreck it. I want to like keep looking at the lens, which is the eye of the person I'll be talking to later on that day. Exactly. That if you're out, they're only going to see that. And then I just take a little brush. This is the D200 from Cosette. And I might just smudge it out a little bit. And the cool thing about this is like, once you've got the shape down, you can put a liquid over it. You could put another, you could put shadow over it if you want to. And that is really my I mean, doing. that is, that's an amazing approach to a cat eye. Can you move a little closer to the camera so we can really get in there, turn a little bit? That's amazing. You definitely glam bam me for sure. Well, it's thanks. Brilliant. It's gorgeous. Thank you so much. Bye, Bye. boo.